This demo video is going to show you how to use HIT for selecting damper actuators by using the torque calculation tool and by inputting required specifications. First, select products by technical parameters. Choose damper actuators, then finally air damper actuators. First, let's demonstrate selecting the product when you already know the required specifications. In this case, let's select a non-spring return actuator with a floating control signal, a plenum rated cable, and an auxiliary switch. Using the filters on the left, I'll specify non-spring return. Select a torque of 44 inch-pounds, floating control signal, supply voltage of 24 volts, plenum rated cable, and then finally, auxiliary switch. If you scroll back to the top, hit specified part GDE 1461P. If we click on the part number, you have all the pertinent information for this part. When you click on the plus, you can view all documents, data sheets, installation instructions, and technical specifications for this GDE. Then finally, all of the accessories pertinent to the GDE actuator. For the second example, let's demonstrate how to select a damper actuator using our torque calculation tool. Back out of this and clear the filters. I'm going to click on torque calculation. In this example, you have a damper and you're trying to properly size a damper actuator to that damper. You can imagine that we have a three foot by three foot damper, so there will be nine square feet. Let's go ahead and enter a nine in the area. Choose an airflow of 2,500 feet per minute. And then finally, select the blade type for the damper. You have several options here opposed blade or parallel blade with or without seals. Let's go ahead and choose an opposed blade damper with seals. Entering this information yields a calculated torque of 67.5 inch-pounds. Go ahead and click OK. And then go back to the attributes to finalize your selection. In this case, I'm going to select the spring return actuator. I'll choose a modulated control signal. With a supply voltage of 24 volts, standard cable, and finally an auxiliary switch. Scroll to the top. HIT has a specified part number, GCA1561U. Click on that part number. And here's all the information for this actuator. Click on the plus for documents and you have your data sheets, declaration of conformity, installation instructions, and dimensional drawings. All of our technical specifications. And then finally, all the accessories pertinent to a GCA actuator. Be sure to check out our other support videos to help you optimize your hit experience. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.